Some of you are going to die. And that is a risk that Jerome Powell is willing to take. I'm not exaggerating, the Federal Reserve's policy is violent against working class people. They've decided again last week, just last Wednesday, so precisely one week ago, to raise interest rates again. Let's hear from Jerome Powell. Without price stability, we will not achieve a sustained period of strong labor market conditions that benefit all. Today, the FOMC raised its policy interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point. And we anticipate that ongoing increases will be appropriate. So that might sound pretty dry, right? Raising interest rates sounds like a very dry policy. And they would like for us to think that as well, so we don't pay too much attention to it. So we're gonna break it down for you today. So precisely how does raising interest rates put more people out of a job? The working theory is that if they make it more expensive for banks to obtain money, banks will then make it more expensive for businesses to borrow money, to take out loans, to invest in existing business businesses and start new ones. This means that there will be less jobs because there are less businesses and less business growth. So their whole theory here is to make people more unemployed, to raise the unemployment rate. And Jerome Powell says this directly, let's watch that. If it does turn out that we are in a world of a persistent labor shortage over time, that will be, that'll be a challenging world for companies and, and it will certainly create upper pressure on wages. Wages um, are, are running at, at, at elevated levels. And um, so what we think by, uh, uh, by our, our policy interventions, what we hope to achieve is a period of growth below trend, uh, which will take, which will cause the labor market to get back into better balance. And then that will bring wages back down to levels that are more consistent with 2% inflation over time. So more people being out of a job means there's more competition in the labor market. People will be very desperate for work, therefore willing to take jobs at lower wages. They're using words here that most people don't understand because they really don't want people to understand how cruel these policies really are. And the reason he's not making the connection as to why this will bring inflation down, which is the story they're telling. You know, I'm sorry, we've got to raise these interest rates, more people will be unemployed, but the end goal is good for everyone, inflation will go back down. The reason they're not making the connection there is because this policy will not actually bring prices back down for people. Uh, the inflation that we're experiencing started at the beginning of the pandemic and it was greatly driven by supply chain issues. When we saw people switch their spending from services and more towards goods because they were staying at home, we saw increased pressure on that part of the economy, that sector. We saw prices go up, there were supply chain breakdowns. People who drive the trucks to get the goods from A to B were sick and they couldn't drive them. We had semiconductor shortages. And then corporations capitalized on this idea that there were supply chain issues and we had widespread inflation. They used it as an excuse to raise prices far more than necessary. Corporations saw 25% growth in their profits. Let's break down some of those numbers. So these are grocery stores. Albertson's net income, in other words, profit, has jumped 192% since 2019. And before the pandemic, uh, so that was bef since 2019, so before the pandemic. And then sales, uh, to give you the, that figure, came in at 54.5 billion for the first nine months of 2021. Publix posted sales of 35.4 billion through the first nine months of 2021. That's up 25% from 28.4 billion in sales for the same time period before the pandemic in 2019. Kroger reported 104.8 billion in sales for the first three quarters for 2021. Sales growth is up 12.2% from pre-pandemic levels. To put this into context, if you were struggling because there were supply chain issues and you raise your prices to account for the additional costs you're accruing there, you wouldn't be seeing record profits. You would have raised prices just enough to cover that cost, but they are seeing record profits. Let's also look at how much they are now spending in wages. This graph is really shocking and it might be disorienting at first, but I'll break it down. So the top two bars, you're seeing a comparison. The top bar is 2020 to 2021. And the lighter color bar, so the light blue bar is 1979 to 2019 average. So we're seeing 
corporate profits increased dramatically. And I wanna bring your attention to the last two bars at the bottom. The amount that these corporations are spending on labor compared to 1979 to 2019 is abysmal. They are not raising wages in accordance with inflation. So what's their, their end game here? Are they going to continue to raise prices so much so that their workers cannot afford it given their wages are so low? Who will be left to buy the products? Let's also look at this next graph. This is worker share of corporate income. So the proportion that goes to workers of the profit made in a business, you can see how much things have changed from 1979 to today. It's on a steady decline. So when Powell says we've got to quell the heat in the labor market and wages are growing at a far too fast of a pace, when inflation adjusted, we haven't seen wage growth since the 70s, he is lying. We're not experiencing workers having outsized power and seeing huge gains when it comes to their wages. What's happening right now is the people in power are not fighting for us. Let's watch this. We are accountable to the public through Congress. That's, that's a very fundamental, important aspect of our work. But it, it, we, we do not, we, we focus solely on the goals that Congress has given us. And that's what we're gonna do here. All right, so what's Congress up to? Well, it turns out they actually know that the current Federal Reserve policy of increasing interest rates and making more people unemployed will not work. And they know because Jerome Powell told them himself, watch. Chair Powell, will gas prices go down as a result of your interest rate increase? I would not think so, no. That matters because gas prices are one of the single biggest drivers of inflation. Energy prices overall drove a third of the inflation last month, but the Fed's tools, as you say, have no impact here. Price of groceries is up nearly 12% this year. Americans feel the pinch. No matter how much groceries cost, people still got to eat. Chair Powell, will the Fed's interest rate increases bring food prices down for families? No, I, I wouldn't say so, no. And yet they're raising rates and they plan to continue to raise rates. If you really wanna know why the people in power are pursuing a policy, you just need to look at the effects of that policy. And the effect here is to quash worker power. They wanna squash the labor movement because they see 71% of support for unions. They see people actually in the streets fighting for their rights and they are scared. Why? Because these people are shareholders in these corporations. Corporations lobby members of Congress. Members of Congress hold stock in these corporations. They don't want worker power. They don't want wages to go up and cut into those profits which line their pockets on our backs. Waz, I wanna bring you in here. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, these guys are old, um, and I don't mean that in like an ageist type of way. But the last time that the country dealt with an inflation crisis was back in the 70s, where this guy would have been going to his graduate schools and you know cutting his teeth and how he understood economics. And this was sort of the conventional wisdom, right? Like you raise uh, the interest rate, and then you know um, th this will even everything out, right? Uh, that was not that that was even right, but that was the prevailing uh, rule of thumb back then. Um, and so like these guys all feel like this is what they have to do. And the second thing that strikes me is that uh, inflation is a lot of times is a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? If if we tell everybody there's inflation, they wanna hoard goods in order to get them at the lowest price possible. That's on one end, and then on the other end, corporations are like, oh, people think there's inflation happening, so we should raise the prices on our goods to you know, maximize our profits. Not that we're actually paying more for stuff, not that we're actually losing revenue, it's just that if everybody's saying it and everybody thinks it, then we get to behave as if it's true. Um, and that's what I think we're seeing here. That is exactly what we're seeing here. I'm just gonna share a quote that broke today that really demonstrates precisely what Waz just said. Uh, the CEOs were praying for inflation. So this is really good reporting from The Intercept. At a September 20th uh, investor event at Iron Mountain Inc, CEO Will Meany, I can't believe his last name is Meany, explained that where we've had inflation running at fairly rapid rates, we're able to price ahead of inflation. That is, increase its prices at a greater rate than the high recent rates of inflation. As Meany put it, raising prices obviously covers our increased costs, but 
A lot of that flows down to the bottom line. He also noted that this didn't just apply to his company. People are seeing what FedEx, UPS, and others are having to do to actually manage their business and pass on that inflation. For that reason, Meany had long been doing my inflation dance, praying for inflation. <laughs> They're saying the quiet part out loud all the time and we're making sure you all hear it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.